Hey Vox here. In this video, we'll talk about how to go from zero to 10 million coins. Now, obviously there's a few ways of doing, there's a lot of different things you can do in the game to get there. We're gonna have to go over that basis. Um, first, you know, we're gonna talk about the content coming and then that will tease out how you're gonna kind of approach the content this week and you know, where you're at in the method determines what you can kind of go after. So Backyard Ballers 2 is coming tomorrow. Combine Boost, Flashbacks, Limiteds, Backyard Ballers 3, Ultimate Legends. Limiteds, Ultimate Legends are sets for guys that have a little bit more money. So if you're just starting out at zero, not really the greatest thing to get into, but you'll be getting there pretty soon. So let's talk about it. Backyard Baller Edition content. We got uh, Stefan Diggs and uh, Trevon Diggs. Got it. Nailed it. Okay, so these cards, they're fine. They're whatever. Great for the theme teams. Not that excited. Uh, the D chemistry is kind of unique on them. This card could be kind of wild depending on how many AP. If this is only 2 AP for both Bench Press and Acrobat, you could see him and uh, you can see him giving us a lot of trouble online. But uh, we'll want a little bit of boost there. We'll see with speed if the D adds plus one. Actually, you know, who knows? Maybe he'll be a 99 because he'll have the, the chems and the D plus one speed. But that's to be seen. Okay. Let's talk about how to go from zero to 10,000. Because zero to 10,000 is the hardest coins to make, right? Uh, all you need to really do is use your starter team, play challenges, either through the campaign, whatever. Because as you're playing challenges, you'll not only earn coins from those challenges, players from those challenges, but you'll also be able to get like your ultimate seasons. There's some other coin things throughout the missions. You don't have to look into it too much. But basically, as you play your uh, uh, rewards, right, you'll get daily, which you can earn midfield packs and a daily quick sell. will get you up to 25,000 coins. You get that twice, right? So you get up to 50,000 coins a day just by playing the game, but that's kind of, that's really rare. You're more than likely average between like, you know, five to 10K a day just playing the game. So in one day's time, you can get up to 10K. If not more, we got down to like level, here, let's take a look at level, I don't know what, 11 to 11 to 20 here. I don't know. I don't know what's a good one to look at. But, like, you can see this, like, 10,000 coins just for reaching level 13. You do that. You got power-up passes, that kind of stuff. So you're just trying to acquire a little bit of coins. And then you get the Gap Pack method going, okay? Once you get the Gap Pack method, and I did it today on stream a little bit. You can take a look. I did it. I just did 10 rips. So 20 rips of the Gap Pack, which we'll show in a second, allows you to um, then sell cards for more than they're worth, right? Like, I did, I did 10 rips uh, with six sales, two kind of still pending. Uh, but one was 21 to 100. We have a few wins there with Henderson. So it's a little bit like every time between games, go ahead, rip 20 gap packs. We'll show that. Um, and then just sell the cards in the auction house, right? You, you want to look up the cards, rip 20, look up in the auction house, post them for the cheapest price, come back later, do them again. So get a player pack right here, okay? So this along with solos will help you do and get your coins up so we just got a superstar 77 overall um just out of the gap pack let's go ahead just for brevity's sake take a look at that now obviously you could just buy your coins off like rock bottom coins using code gut fox but that's hashtag ad um but if you don't want to do that how you do it for free playing those games you see i got some coins there he's he's only 600 coins so not great you can always use him to exchange but you could probably sell the 77 um for 550 so he's basically a break even if not slight loss so 77 not great but you will get 80s you will profit off that in the long run but that's something that like that's a long run sample size for the gap pack method now as you're earning coins for the gap pack method you can move on to other methods right you can look into more investing in cards and you saw when i saw when, when i when i showed that my, my sales recently you're gonna look at it and you'd be like, whoa, is that a card you sold for almost a million coins? Why? Yes. Yes, it is. Justin Tucker, a card that I bought for, what, was he 500K that I bought a kicker for? I almost doubled my coins just by buying a limited. So, obviously, you gotta it takes money to get one. But I just wanted to show it off. Easy example of a limited I just sold. So, limiteds that have come out, Ultimate Legend limiteds, like we saw in the schedule. I wanted to talk about that. Um, Kirkland's kind of bad. You might have to hang on to him for a while if you bought him. Let Thursday limited sometimes go up. I know this is very, uh, uh, you know, high-end baller things, but to get to 10 million, once you get to like that, you know, half million point, you still got to keep going. So buying limited, sniping them on the weekends is a good idea. Otherwise, during the week to play in the Ultimate Legend sets, because the sets are so darn profitable right away. And we'll talk about uh, the, the baller sets in a second. Ultimate Legends, while we're on the topic, so these exchanges, actually, I wanted to go to the exchanges, not the actual sets. The sets are profitable at times, too. You're going to have to do the math. But 
these sets, right? Where 285s and 83 equals an 87 Ultimate Legend, right? These Ultimate Legend cards can get upwards of 20k if we got a good Ultimate Legend set drop, right? When Vic came out, Vic's 80, uh, Vic's 87 was 21k. This set cost you 12k to do. So you want to be able to buy these 85s during the week. Um, 83s generally kind of stay low, but the only risk here, right? Investment does not come out without risk is the fact that they could go up to 98 and they kind of screw your 85 bids up. So you might want to get like 86s because 86s and 85s are about the same price right around that 6K barrier on the weekends. You can maybe find a little bit lower than a week. So snipe those things, wait for the weekend. It's a great cycle to get into. Easy, passive money. Obviously, I could just sit here and say, just snipe cards if we list higher. That's an easy thing to do. I'm talking about sniping cards, waiting for them to go up, doing the sets, and making more coins. And also, if you look at these sets, sometimes those 91s are going for like something crazy, 70, 90K. I've seen over 100K for some 91s occasionally. Mega profit there too as long as you do the math, right? As long as you had a good ultimate legend, it's crazy. Just building these things all day. People have made millions. You don't, I'm not exaggerating. Millions just building ultimate legend pieces. That's a great way of getting it up. Now, of course, if you want to keep going, but like spread out your risk of investments, you go to backyard ballers, right? You look at these champions and there is a little bit of a, a thought. Sorry, I want to go to combine first before backyard ballers. Don't talk about that investment. Combine 97s. Um, these cards, there's some maybe thought about it going to 98 with them getting the boost tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, it's risky. There is potential upside there, but I feel like EA is not going to give us the 98 overalls. Um, but you know, let's pray for it, right? It would be awesome to get 98 overall cards. Cause like a lot of these, a lot of these numbers hit a lot of the cards got their, got their speed done. So that's a risky investment. You know, maybe it's worth it, but We'll see then, of course, if it goes up to 98 overall since they get their, their pluses, their plus ones, a lot of it. Backyard ballers, though. All right. So these cards, if you have some of these 95s, 94s, 93s today, because the 97s are coming out tomorrow, we know those 97s are the digs bros, and you might be able to make these sets and sell them right away overpriced. Okay? So if you have these cards tonight... Right, this is something for maybe you got like you know intermediate amount of coins. The sets will be the same tomorrow because we saw they are 97 right here for digs and digs. So people will want to buy them right away to try them in the morning, and they'll be overpriced right away. Just remember, don't try and catch a falling knife. Sometimes it, it'll cut you. So you want to get out of it. You want to get out of it pretty quickly and just build them, sell them, put them on the block right away. Um, so there might be some profit there. These prices could go up on the cards, on the heroes there. The exchange sets, I didn't really find anything too glitchy in the exchange set. The rolls weren't great for me either. Uh, of course, we'll test them. I think I'll be on Twitch tomorrow for that. So anyways, these are a few of the methods you want to do. Team builders has always been profitable too. So you want to do sets like that to get profits also. Team builders and this team affinity stuff. You want to do the math because like, I can tell you, do this set right now, okay? But that means the profit's gone from the set. But I just want to tell you, generally team builders, the, the uh, my, what it takes to get out of them. So let's go ahead and let's just do, let's just find a team builder right now, okay? So I haven't, you know, set this up, sadly. I should have done that, obviously. I had a team builder. Um, overall, let's do 93 um uh, sort by price okay so 90k for a team builder 93 right there davis ward brooks all high 90s now how much does it cost for a 91 and 89 289s and 287s okay a 91 32 now these are unfiltered prices so these are expensive as you're gonna see them you can always snipe under this a 91 is 32 289s is 32, so that's 64, and 287s is 8K, so another 16, 64, so that's 80K. So 80K to build a 90K guy, but, but, remember, these are the these are the highest prices you can pay. So you can easily find an 87, probably around 6K, um, sniping through them. Um, the 89s, you'll probably be able to find around, you know, 14 to 15-ish, Cut a few K off there. 91s, you can probably find around 29. Also depends on like tomorrow when these cards come out, right? When 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 we get more, if you recall, backyard ballers. 
um, at not NFL Combine, Backyard Baller. When these 91s come out of the packs and people re-roll them, they will be selling a lot of 91s cheap. So 91 going for 32K is kind of high, especially tomorrow. So doing these sets will allow you to grind out coins, right? Because coins are not just going to come to you easy, except for like investments and stuff, and all you do is play the waiting game on them. Um, that's like easier, but there will be a lot of grinding involved through the market to get these amount of coins to go to 10 million, okay? So let's go ahead to um, ballers. We're looking for 91s, 29K. So I didn't listen to 32, so that's immediately unfiltered, unfiltered even, right? I could go and filter it down more and get it potentially cheaper. So that's already another 6K because it's, no, no, sorry. It's another 3K savings right there. It's only 191. Um, 3k savings on that. So that's, that's just raw profit doing these sets cheap, selling them at market value. And sometimes a lot of these team affinities are just not on the, on the block, right? A lot of these team builders. So like you can kind of set your own price a lot of times because people don't do this set as much. It's been like it, team builders have been profitable, all team builders, almost the whole year long, um, due to people just, you know, kind of being too lazy to do the set. Obviously you can do other sets for more profit. Like you don't want to do like the 72, um guys but like uh let's check out what, what, what was that dolphins maybe dolphins do you can do popular theme teams too he's 80 87 so that wasn't as good um what's another good one i don't know who's who's a popular team cowboys are popular uh 88 for anger you could sell at so that's and he's the only one on the block and that was just that's posted for 23 hours so cowboys um my steelers let's see what their prices are at 90k for the Steelers, so tons of profit in that, and that's how you grind out coins um, and, and get it up to a, an absolutely high level to afford any other card you want in the game for free. We've seen no money spent. People have 50 million coins. I'm not exaggerating. I've seen people no money spent in years past with 100 million coins with different sets and in, in market work and, and in investments, and some of those are due to loopholes we've had in the past too. To be fair, but like I said. Your first 10,000 coins the hardest. Doing solo challenges, getting through those. Then you can work your way into the gap pack method. From the gap pack method, you work your way into sets. And, you know, still do the gap pack method. And the gap pack method can sometimes help with sets. Obviously, if you pull a good enough card, you just put it there. Um, but that's kind of how you build into the 10 million coins. Because then once you get enough coins, then you use those coins to invest into cards that are only in packs for a limited time. And then you play the waiting game. Um, for those people that like, are like, oh, what do you mean? Ultimate Legends went up in, in price and stuff. So... Some of them are better than others, right? Kirkland is kind of a boring one. But if you look at wide receiver like Jimmy Smith that came out a few weeks ago, um, so you kind of do have a little bit longer a range on investments and stuff. Um, Jimmy Smith, I guess I should filter wide receiver by him. Um, but he was going for like 500 to 600K a couple weeks ago when he was packed. He's now at 737. So it's just really a waiting game for some of them. Obviously, Kirkland, who knows if he's going to go up as he's kind of a... A terrible middle linebacker but there are a lot of crazy Steeler fans out there he's already at the 725 I I'm completely wrong I he was 600k um now he's at the 700k so he's he's still gone up even though he's a trash card just due to the limited amount of him there is a lot on the block though uh but anyways that's really hard that's that's what you get right once you get to that million coin club then you do start to do you know kind of the big boy investments to get to 10 million Hopefully this helped you guys. Hopefully it helped for the market. We have free agent promo coming next week. You might want to look into investing free agents, obviously. Um, that's it, right? Um, for the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. Really helps out the channel. Um, let me know in the comments. You guys got any other good tips for people for grinding out coins to get them from zero to 10 million? No money spent? Thanks for watching Call to Action. I will see you tomorrow.